Hey guys, take control with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone if it's lagging or slow after the iOS 17 update and you updated your phone. These are the things that you want to do, ensuring that your phone runs smoothly and it's fixed and the performance is back to normal. So let's get started. So the very first thing, whenever you do a major software update, there's a lot of things to check to ensure that the phone is able to use the software correctly. So first I like to do is close out all the apps I have open on my iPhone. So usually you want to swipe with your finger upwards and just slide to close out all the apps that you have opened up. Now, once you have done that, it's time to go over to the App Store itself. And on the App Store here, we're gonna check to see if there's updates available for the apps themselves. So if you go into the App Store, click on your profile up here, you'll see all of these apps that require update if they're available. Here, as you can see, I have 38 apps that require the update. And the reason why you wanna update all the apps is because once you download a major version, these apps are also updated to be compatible correctly or to run smoothly on it. So you'll click on update all and update the app. You can individually update it, but click on that update all, allow yourself probably a couple minutes for the update to complete and all of your apps will be up to date, compatible with the latest version. So there's no issue in terms of the app causing that a lag or slowness on your iPhone. Now, after you have done that, the next thing you wanna do in your setting of your iPhone is go ahead into your general and then app a background app refresh now this might be on or off depending on how you have it but basically all of these apps when you have this on is constantly all refreshing their data on Wi-Fi or cellular data in the background which can slow down your phone's performance especially if you have hundreds of apps what I recommend is to turn it off if you can't completely and if you see that there's no issue uh, no problem with that that's fine but you can also individually turn one or all of them off depending on which one you need constantly data but even then when you open up the app it refreshes that data so there's really no point to run in the background and drain up of the battery and the power of your iPhone and then the performance takes a hit. So that's something you can do is turn that off. Now after you have done that, it's time to go ahead and do a forced restart on your iPhone, which again is the simplest and easiest way to fix any sort of issue with any iPhone when it comes to performance. So what you'll do is press and release the volume up, press and release the volume down one after another. So volume up, a volume down. Finally, hold the side button here until the screen goes completely black and you see the Apple logo reappear at that time you let go of that button and we have completed a forced restart. So I'll do volume up, volume down, hold that side button just like that. Now we're not going to slide to power off because that will be a normal shutdown. We want it to force it to completely shut down or we're going to die like this and then it's going to go black and then you'll see the Apple logo appear in a few seconds and then you let go of that button so that it can reload the phone software or the code so that if it's a bug or issue going with the software after the update right it will fix those issues for you now this method will not delete any of your personal data so all of your photos videos apps will be safe on your phone you don't have to worry about that now after you have done that and you're still seeing maybe lag or performance issue with your iphone it's time to check that your phone has enough storage available and if you go into setting of your iphone go to general and then iphone storage you'll see here how much storage your phone has this one for example has a capacity of 128 gig i'm using 23 gig and i have 104 available now in a case that i'm using or you're using up 128 gig or close to the maximum that you have you need to start clearing some stuff up by deleting things like larger photos videos usually longer format videos apps to give some space because if a phone is maxed out on storage it can cause all sort of performance issue like being lagging and slowness. So go ahead and review the list here. It'll give you a recommendation. Sometimes you can delete messages as well, things like that to gonna clear up some space, but that's gonna be another thing you want to consider doing to free up some storage. Now, after you have done that, the next thing you wanna check out in your setting of your iPhone is for your privacy and security. If you have location services turned on, you want to review all the apps that are using location services and limit their usage. The reason why that is when the location services is running, the phone needs extra bit of uh, power to kind of use the sensors to figure out your location, which again isn't the greatest when it comes to saving battery and performance. 
uh, which could essentially cause lagging issues. Is that review the list here, for example, some apps like Maps, for example, you always wanted to um, use it while using it or next time you're on. But other things like, for example, if you're not using um, maybe like, for example, let's say uh, uh, for one of the uh, news ones, maybe it's always using it. You want to select never here, things like that. You want to just review the list here to ensure that you're using only apps that really need it while you open them up, not just all the apps. Because every time you download app, it's just looking for your location services, but you may not necessarily need location services for that app as well. So review that list to reduce the amount of services that require location services. Now the next thing you want to do in terms of troubleshooting is under your settings again, this time we're going to go to Siri and search. And under Siri and search, a couple things here that we want to take a look at is that what sort of search are being looked up on your iPhone here. So you want to reduce the amount of uh, searches that is being suggested or being looked up because if it's searching for your phone, it's going to take up power. So you want to reduce the amount of search that goes up in your iPhone. So for do do, do that, a couple settings here to look at. So as you can see here, uh, you can have all of this lookup. Siri is fine to use, but when it's starting to show up like social suggestions, um, these settings sometimes can also interfere, like show up in spotlight uh, for content from Apple. This can actually slow down um, some of the features. So if you want, you can try to turn these off, these settings like this one and show in spotlight, uh, show and look up as well. These three settings usually will kind of reduce the amount of consumption the phone uses in terms of battery and then the power, which again essentially uh, equates to using up more of the resources on your iPhone. So go ahead and try turning off. Usually if you don't use Siri at all, which some people don't use Siri at all, it might even help you even better. But if you need Siri to do stuff, keep it on, but reduce the amount of things that it searches for on your iPhone. And then after it's been a couple of days or the update has fully uh, worked on your phone, you can come back and turn these on as well and see uh, if you really need those to on so that your phone has been indexed correctly. Now, after you have done that, um, then these two last settings are more on the more of the extreme side of the setting that you want to do if you really are having major lagging and slowness and all sorts of issue, maybe after the update. First thing is in your setting of your iPhone, you're going to go to general here and then go down here where it says transfer reset iPhone. You're going to do the reset here and you're going to do reset all setting. Now, reset all setting will not delete any of your personal data. So all of your photos, videos, apps will still be on your phone. What it will do is reset things like your network settings. So if you had saved Wi-Fi password, you have to reconnect to the Wi-Fi networks. If you have Bluetooth connected devices, you have to reconnect again to your Bluetooth uh, devices. Any keyboard uh, dictionary that you have added will just get reset. Home screen layout, if you had custom home screen layout, it will reset those. And then any location and privacy setting that you have, custom, those will get reset as well. But it's essential, like I said, if you really are experiencing major lag and you really can't deal with it, this is a setting you want to reset. I know it's not ideal, but again, it's something to do. Now, again, it will not delete any of your personal data. Lastly, after you have done that, and usually the reset will take about two to three minutes, you have done that. Finally, it's time to check if there's another update from Apple as well as Apple released iOS 17. They're updating their phones uh, with each time there's a bug report or they're finding issues. So go into your setting of your iPhone, go to general software update. And if there's an update available, it will show up here. As you can see, this phone is up to date with iOS 17.1.1 at the time of recording. But of course, if you need to update it, it will show up. It'll say update here. Make sure when you do the update, your phone is at least 50% or more charged, connected to a good strong uh, Wi-Fi or cellular data and give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes for you to be able to successfully install the update. And that's it for all the tips we have for fixing your iPhone lagging or slowness after the iOS 17 update. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If so, please make sure to like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.